Hey, what's up? My name is Gennard, and you are watching Toroge Pro. What we're going to do today is that we are going to make this old Wi Fi router useful. We're going to try and make this one as a switch, as an access point, as an extender or repeater. The case might be you have upgraded your Wi Fi router, so you will have this old Wi Fi router sitting there. You set aside, you might think you're not going to use it anymore. Or maybe your ISP, your internet service provider, upgraded that Wi Fi router modem, the install at your house. So you have that extra one. You can still use this one as an access point, extender, repeater, or a switch. Let's try and see our old Wi Fi router. Uh, it's Cisco Linksys E2000. And let's try to see the switch ports. These are actually switch ports where we plug our computer, our laptop to share the internet. This is where we plug in our internet cable where the internet comes in and it's going to be shared with our home network. This internet port that we have here, on other routers this is labeled as WAN. Now if we are going to make use of this one as a switch or an access point, we are just going to ignore this one. Don't plug anything here because this is what makes this Wi-Fi router a router. Now if we ignore this one, we're just going to do a few modifications with this Wi-Fi router and this will work as a access point, a switch, a repeater. Which of those we want it to be, it will work. This would be my newer router. Uh, it's actually Cisco Linksys E1200 and it has the same port orientation with the other one. We're just going to plug our internet here and then we're going to share the internet with our other home network devices but we're going to connect another cable to our other router here so that's what we're going to do I'm just going to plug the internet here uh, this will be my one port uh, we're not going to do anything with that what we're worried right now is how we're going to configure this one but I just want to show you how we can set this one up so since this is my main router I'm just going to plug one cable one of these local area network ports or what I call a switch port plug it here and then get my older router this is my older router I'm just going to plug any of these one one to four ports just ignore this internet port or one port of your router what whatever router you're using so I'm just going to plug it here and we're going to power this one up just so I showed you how you can connect this one since this is an old router we need to do a hard reset here so that this old router will go to a factory default setting and we can start configuring this one uh, whatever your router is you just try to find that mark where it says reset now you have a little hole there you just need something that you can pin you can push into like what I have here I can push it there now just observe the link lights that you have there and at the same time at the back of this one I'm just going to uh, press that reset button here once I press that one, you observe the light, it will change. You can see a blue light there and a power light there. You can see it's starting to blink faster, fast enough, and then you see those lights come up, and then once that's gone, you can release this one. And it will reboot itself, and then this one will already be on its factory default setting. So we can configure it already. Now that we have, uh, we did a reset here, we're just going to plug another cable into our router going to our laptop so that we can access this router and configure those configurations we did. So this is my cable and I'm going to plug it to my laptop here. So we can start. We need to access our wireless router with the IP address of this device. So what we're going to do is go to cmd and then type in ip config let's locate the ethernet adapter and look for the default gateway we have you see here ethernet adapter ethernet this is the adapter where the wireless router is connected to and we can see the default gateway 192.168.1.1 now we are going to open our browser just go ahead and open up your browser and type in this 192.192.168.1.1 press enter you will be prompted with a login 
uh, most routers go with uh, username as admin and password as admin but if it does not work for you Google is your friend just go ahead and Google the modal number of that wireless router and ask for the default username and password so for us let's type in admin and admin login and we're inside this wireless router there you go since we are here on the setup page let's just go ahead and scroll down here and you can see the DHCP server we need to disable this DHCP server because DHCP servers are enabled on wireless routers so if we have two DHCP server running on the same network we'll be having problems with our network because we have our main router now this is our old router so we need to disable this one so that it would stop giving IP address so our new router will be the one to give those IP addresses to our devices if you have already set that one we can save this one first let's do it one setting at a time so that we are not going to be confused now the next thing we're going to do is we need to uh, change the IP address of this wireless router because by default most routers use 192.168.1.1 as their default IP address where we can access this one and configure so if we have two devices that have same IP address on same network we will be having problems also that's why we need to change the IP address of this one from we can start from that two we can change this one from that two up to 254 so I'm going to choose the last IP address to put here that would be 254 since I know no one's using this one and then I'm going to save this one again now your configuration changes has been set you will be returned to the previous page after several seconds now uh, this will refresh in a few seconds and it will give us the IP address we changed to earlier that is 254 on our browser so we're going to wait for a few seconds now it has already refreshed and it has changed into our 192.168.254 address and we can log in with our login again and continue to configure this wireless router admin admin okay we're logged in again so you can see it, it's changed so this will not be conflicting to our uh, main router now that that's changed like what I've said our wireless router can already be used as a switch we can use those extra switch ports to plug in other devices we want to now that we're done with the configuration of the IP address and turning that DHCP server off go ahead to the wireless configuration and we can start configuring this one as our access point already click on wireless we can go for manual and if you want this one to be a repeater you can use the same SSID that your new router is using so that your users do not need to re-authenticate to this access point we have configured in our case let's just put here Torogi Pro here on the channel just leave it as auto so that it will automatically change the channel if it detected interference with other devices but if you are sure with which channel you are using you can change this one from 1 to 13 now the SSID enabled so that's it we can save this one now that we're done with the wireless setup it's time we configure the wireless security this is uh, set to disabled if you want to authenticate our users we can select let's just go for WPA2 personal and then type in our password let's just go for Torogi Pro as our password for the sake of the tutorial save this one this wireless router is now an access point it's not a router it's not being used as a router already it's an access point a switch it can be a repeater an extender depending on how you want it to be just make sure to do the configuration on your router this Wi-Fi routers does not have the same interface when you configure them just make sure to remember to change the setting that we have changed the IP address of that wireless router the DHCP server should be turned off you can go ahead and you can configure the wireless settings and everything should work fine now if you think I have missed something on this tutorial 
just drop a comment below if, if it's your first time in my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe once again this is Torogi Pro and until next time goodbye